Welcome to the Panalam Fiber Reinforced Laminate, or FRL, installation on ballistic panels video. Installing on ballistic panels differs from installing on drywall. If you are installing on drywall, please refer to our standard How to Install FRL video. FRL is fire rated, durable, and long lasting, making it ideal for high traffic areas. In addition to this video, we encourage you to refer to the FRL installation guide, which you can find on our website. Recommended materials and tools shown here are listed in the guide in addition to step-by-step -step instructions. It is important to follow this guide closely as Panalam FRL is not installed the same as other wall coverings. Today we are installing FRL on ballistic panels. Please confirm ballistic panel installation instructions with your ballistic panel supplier. In our example, we are using Level 3 Armortex ballistic panels. For FRL, remove all outer packaging, bands, and plastic wrap, leaving the top sheet of cardboard. Installation should not begin until panels have acclimated for 72 hours and the building is enclosed, permanent heating and air conditioning equipment is in operation, and moisture from plaster, concrete, and other materials has dissipated. Major temperature or humidity shifts during or after installation may cause the panel not to adhere properly. Ideal levels are 40 to 50 percent humidity and 70 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Due to their weight, ballistic panels must be secured directly to wall studs. The ballistic panels must be applied to the wall first before bonding FRL panels directly to the ballistic panels. Please refer to the installation guide of your ballistic panel supplier for their official installation requirements. Let's start by preparing the ballistic panels. Confirm the spacing of the wall studs. Draw vertical lines on the ballistic panels that match the spacing of the metal studs. Create a grid-like pattern by adding horizontal lines with the same spacing to create squares. This will be your template for drilling holes to screw into the wall studs. Proper personal protection equipment, or PPE, should always be worn when cutting or drilling. Using the grid as a guide, drill a hole at each of the intersection points using high-speed steel twist drill bits. After the initial hole is drilled, use a standard corded or cordless drill to create space for the head of the screw to sit so that it is flush with the ballistic panels. It is critical to have a smooth, even surface on which to apply the FRL. We are now going to install the ballistic panel directly to the wall studs. Use clamps to hold the ballistic panel to the frame while securing. The holes you drilled at the intersection points of the grid should line up with the wall studs. Install using self-tapping drywall screws to attach the ballistic panels to the wall studs. Ensure screws have been secured at each of the intersection points and that screw heads are tightened so that they do not stick out. It is critical to have a smooth, even surface on which to apply the FRL. Remove loose fiberglass particles by brushing down the bullet resistant panels. This will ensure a clean surface on which to bond the FRL. Measure and cut top cap to fit panel width. Apply speed tape to the top cap. Apply top cap to the top of the ballistic panels. Once applied, use a D-handle laminate roller to ensure the top cap has been bonded securely to the ballistic panels.
Measure and cut division bar to fit panel height. In our example, we are using a two-piece aluminum division bar. This allows the installer to visually inspect the joint spacing and ensure there is room for the panels to expand and contract. Apply speed tape to the division bar. Apply division bar to the ballistic panels. Roll with D-handle laminate roller. Dust off the side of the panel on which you will be applying the Panelam approved adhesive. The adhesive should be applied with the recommended V-notch trowel in a cross-hatch pattern, taking the adhesive out to all edges of the panel. Do not apply the adhesive with layers that are too thick. Remove excess adhesive using the cross-hatch method. Adhesive should be creamy in nature. Prolonged exposure to air will cause clumping. When this occurs, open a new bucket of adhesive. Helpful tip! Suction cups can be used to keep hands free of adhesive and make it easier to fit the panel into the molding system. Adhesive requires some moisture to cure and effectively bond FRL to the ballistic panels. Wet a rag. Then, wipe the wet rag over the ballistic panels to leave a small amount of water behind. Using suction cups, bring the FRL panel with a cross-hatch pattern adhesive over to the ballistic panel to adhere it. Fit FRL panel with plumb line or top cap and division bars. Leave the proper 3 16 inch expansion gap for horizontal or 1 8 inch expansion gap for vertical on all sides. Do not leave more space as panel can also contract. Press firmly to the ballistic panel. When the FRL panel is properly fit, Roll the panel with a D-handle laminate roller, working from the center to the edges. This will bond the FRL panel with the ballistic panel and remove any air bubbles. Before it dries, remove any adhesive from the face of the panel using mineral spirits or alcohol. Continue to clean as you install the FRL panels. Repeat step six, through nine, working in one direction around the room. Make sure to use the cross-hatch pattern when applying FRL adhesive. Wet the ballistic panels, use suction cups to help position the FRL panels, leave the proper gaps when adhering the FRL panels directly to the ballistic panels, roll out the properly fit FRL panels using a D-handle laminate roller and continue to clean as you go. Measure and cut division bar top cover. Prior to attaching the top cover, run a small bead of 100% silicone down the groove of the installed base piece. Please ensure to remove excess silicone. For the edges, measure and cut end caps. Secure by pressing end caps between ballistic panel and FRL panel. Clean the face of the FRL panels after final installation to ensure all excess adhesive is removed. After the FRL panels are properly installed, the strength, durability, cleanability, 
and fire rated qualities make FRL panels an exceptional decorative solution to your ballistic needs. FRL panels are the preferred choice for wall protection in high traffic areas such as airports, hospitals, schools, and more. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to your local Panelam representative or contact Panelam customer support. Thank you for watching this special application of Panelam FRL wall protection panels on ballistic panels installation video.